Oh, look at this. This is an interesting gift. Pull tab for your surprise. Oh. Oh. Hey guys, Rich Ferguson here, and I'm so excited for this video. I'm gonna be teaching you 10 ways to booby trap gifts for this holiday season. And while you're here, be sure to catch our other videos we've done. We've taught over 50 tutorials already for this holiday season. And if you're new to this video, subscribe right now because we got all kinds of fun stuff coming your way. Check out this video. All right, this first prank is genius and it's gonna scare the crap out of people. What you're gonna do is get one of these air horns. <laughs> Dang, and you're gonna booby trap it. Check this out. Get yourself a zip tie, a pencil or a stick like this. And what you're gonna do is tape the stick or pencil on top so that it's secure. What I'm using here is a popsicle stick because there's just a small button on top. Some air horns have big buttons, but in this case, it's the typical small button. So what I'm gonna do is tape on the popsicle stick on the front and on the back. Now this does not have to be pretty because this is gonna be hidden inside of a gift. Now what you're gonna do is zip tie around the outside of this. Oh yeah. Once you have a stick across the button that's gonna be depressed, put your zip tie on the outside and tighten it up pretty tight until it almost is gonna start depressing the button and then make sure it's also on the side, not on the top or the bottom. Then you've got your air horn grenade ready to go. For the next step, you might wanna break off the front or back of the extra piece of stick. So you can put this against the back of your package. So here is the beauty. Take this, stick it in your package, and you're gonna put a hole on the side right where that zip tie comes out. Mark inside of your package roughly where the air horn pull tab is gonna go. Then put a hole through the package where this line needs to go. Then feed that line through the hole and then secure the air can to the inside of the package with some tape. And this is just so the can doesn't wiggle around or lose its place when people are handling the package because once this is wrapped up, there's no more access to this thing. And now for the fun part, close this baby up, gift wrap it, and then attach a sign or a note on the end of this that says, pull me for your surprise. And this is just an example of the finished product. I have my sign right here. It says, pull for your surprise. And I took my zip tie line and taped it over to make a pull cord. And this is it. So let's give it a shot. Nine more pranks to go. Remember to hit that like button. Have you ever received a holiday card and it's got glitter all over it? What a pain in the butt. Or is it? For this next prank, you're gonna booby trap a card. Get yourself some glitter or some confetti and all you're gonna do is fill the inside of the card up, stick it in the envelope, and when the person pulls this out, it goes all over their lap. Use some confetti if you want it to be funny and use some glitter if you want it to be mean because this stuff you will find for years. How nice, someone got me a card. This next booby trap is awesome. You're gonna use a card and you're gonna make it become a water grenade. What you're gonna do is take a straw, cut it to the length of the card. So just make sure a straw can fit inside of a card and therefore inside of the envelope. Now the setup of this is awesome. What you're gonna do is take an earplug, roll it, and then you're gonna squeeze it up inside of one of the ends so it's nice and secure. You're gonna do the same thing with the other end, but first you're gonna fill this with something crazy like soda or water, vinegar, whatever you want, and this is gonna be your water grenade. So as you fill this, you might have to shake it to get all the air bubbles to the top, and you can see it's almost filled. I've left a little bit at the top because I'm gonna completely seal off this straw with yet another earplug. So now I have this perfect little cylinder filled with some sort of liquid. In this case, it's just water, but you can use vinegar or something really stinky too. Now here's the fun part. Tape this to the inside of your card. So you can see here, I didn't put the straw quite in the seam because it would prevent the card from opening and closing. Just put it in there so the card can still close. It's okay if there's that bump. And then last but not least, Here's how you make the grenade. You're gonna take a needle and thread and stick it through the bottom earplug, being sure you don't remove it, just go straight through the earplug, not the straw. Make a little length of about 
eight or nine inches, and you're gonna affix that to the inside of the envelope. So then, when they pull the card out, guess what they do? It pulls off that bottom plug, and then the water goes perfectly on them because of the angle. So as you can see, I've attached a string to the corner of the envelope, and also to the bottom ear plug. I'm gonna close that up, stick it inside, and this booby trap is all ready to go. So this is what'll happen when they pull out the card. They'll pull it out. Of course, there's gonna be this little bit of tension right here. As soon as they pull, guess what's gonna happen? That's gonna come out. Oh! And then water or vinegar drips all over them. This next booby trap takes advantage of something that you already probably are familiar with from your kitchen. That is mixing vinegar with baking soda. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those science project kids make. It's like a lava or an explosion, but this stuff is awesome. If you're not familiar with this reaction, let me show you a small example. And we're gonna add a little bit of vinegar. Look at it foam up. There it goes. So now imagine a huge amount of baking soda. Well, how do you accomplish that? with your friend, the water balloon. So what you're gonna do is pre-inflate this. So you get some of the elasticity going on the sucker. Then what you're gonna do is stretch it around the mouth of the vinegar bottle. Make sure you get a plastic vinegar bottle, just like this. Then invert it, and you're gonna push. And then what you have is a water balloon filled with vinegar. So you have two options here. One, you can tie it off in a knot, and then you have this nice secure balloon, which you can make pop inside of a container with a pull line that has a safety pin attached to it. I'll show you that in a second. Or the easiest way is to not even tie it at all and stick it back inside of the same type of container, one that has a snap lid. So what you're gonna do is find a container that has a snap on lid, fill it halfway with baking soda, drop in your vinegar grenade, get in there, but do not tie the balloon. You're gonna put it on the edge here. Oh, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Oh, there we go. Snap that baby closed, and look at this. This thing's gonna drop inside and start squirting the instant they open up this lid. So all you have to do is wrap this container and then on top, a little note that says open for your surprise. So this is a very simple way to have a little vinegar and baking soda grenade. Another way to activate the popping of the balloon is to put it into a box. You can line it with plastic if you want or a big Ziploc bag. Fill it with the baking soda. Put your vinegar grenade balloon here. And what you're gonna do is bend one of the flaps down but with a safety pin attached. So you're gonna go like this. Stick it right through the cardboard and be careful not to pop the balloon. You're gonna move the balloon out of the way, bend the flap beyond the balloon, put that flap really far down so it can't touch the balloon. Then you're gonna close this all up and you're gonna have a pull line that says pull to activate your surprise. And what's gonna happen, they're gonna pull up on this flap and that needle is gonna brush right past the balloon and pop it. Now in this case, it was just an air balloon and this is just for demonstration purposes, but you get the idea. What I would suggest is putting that straight through so that needle sticks straight up and then I would tape it on both sides so this stays exactly right there and doesn't move back and forth. I would suggest making a simple pull line like this. What I've done is torn the edge of the cardboard here and here on the two flaps. And now you have yourself a simple pull line. Just make sure the top of the gift is lightly wrapped and this is sticking through with a sign that says pull me. They can pull it and they will activate the popping mechanism on the inside. Now it goes without saying some of these pranks are going to make a tremendous mess. So make sure you choose the right person in the right time and place to pull these. This next booby trap prank is so simple. Just get a pitcher of water, only fill it about halfway. That allows for a little bit of sloshing around on movement without spilling. All you're gonna do is stick it inside of a gift bag. If there's any room left on the sides of the pitcher, fill both sides with newspaper so the pitcher is somewhat secure, and then finish it off on top with a little bit of tissue paper, and this will look and feel like a normal gift. It doesn't feel that heavy, actually. And then when the person digs around, ah. Uh, they put their hand in a big bucket of water. Speaking of a pitcher of water, here's another twist on the same idea. Put this in a box, it's about the right size. Wrap it up, but make sure this is upright like this. But on the box, on the outside, have arrows that are the wrong direction and it upside down says up. 
So the person's gonna take the package and of course, they're gonna flip it over because they think that the package is upside down and they need to open it from the other end. You could even put a note at the top that says, open this end, and that'll cause the person to flip the box upside down, dumping all of this on their lap. All right, this next booby trap is gonna make a tremendous mess, so be sure you do it responsibly. It's the classic Mentos and soda. And if you have not seen what this does, it's incredible. You're gonna have a 20 foot geyser of foam shooting out of this thing. But let me show you a couple different methods of how you can incorporate this into a present or holiday gift. So there's a couple things we're gonna talk about here. One, clever ways to disguise and hide the soda bottle. Two, how do you drop in and activate the Mentos? What's really cool about these round cardboard containers is they're designed to hold little wine bottles. Well, guess what? If you get a small one liter bottle of soda, it drops right in there and it happens to be almost the perfect height. Look at that. Now to booby trap an individual soda like this, a small one, what you're gonna do is take one individual Mentos and you're gonna string a little bit of thread right through the middle using a needle. Now I'd recommend using a thimble on your finger so you don't poke the needle through your skin. And to start with, get a safety pin and burrow a hole right through the Mentos. And what you're gonna do is have a length of string that's gonna go across the top of the mouth and you're gonna screw it back on. Let me show you. So stick a safety pin straight through. So now you have a small hole. Then get your needle and thread and go right back through that same hole. It'll be nice and easy for you. Put one Mentos across the mouth of the bottle and then you're gonna cap it up with the Mentos and string across the top. Be careful not to let that Mentos drop down inside. Cap it up with the extra string sticking out. Get it nice and tight. Then you can cut this extra string away. And now you've created this little grenade because when they open up that lid, guess what drops? Now that the bottle's all prepared, be sure not to shake it or turn it upside down. You're gonna put some epoxy on the bottom of this container, slide it into this gift container right here. The bottle goes inside, put some epoxy on the top of this lid, making sure it doesn't roll down the side and get on here because you wanna be able to open this thing just a little bit on top and then affix this to that bottle cap, push down, until it dries, five minutes later, if you have epoxy that dries in five minutes, and this thing is set to go. From this moment on, you're gonna have a note at the top that says unscrew to get to your gift. So they're gonna unscrew this, and only the lid's gonna come because the bottle is glued to this container. So the lid's gonna unscrew, the Mentos is gonna drop, and you're gonna get this little mess. Let's go outside and see what it looks like when one Mentos drops inside of a Coke container. So this is one simple one Mentos version of this prank. Let me show you how to make the massive geyser and how to hide it inside of a package. I don't know if you're familiar with this Mentos grenade kit. This is a plastic tube in which you put the entire stack of Mentos. There's a small hole in the plastic which you put a string through and all you're doing is attaching this to the top of the two liter bottle of soda. All the Mentos goes inside of there on top of that little bit of string and that little plastic peg. And what you do is you stand back, pull the string Ring, it pulls out through the hole and all the Mentos drops into the soda at once and you get this massive 20 foot fountain of foam. Well, here's how easy you can do it inside of a gift package. If you can't find one of these Mento kits inside your store, let me show you how you make one. So all you have to do is find some tubing or material that you can wrap around some Mentos and then you're gonna attach this to the outside of the bottle. You're gonna remove the lid and secure this round tubing around the neck or the opening of this with tape, nice and secure. And then what you're gonna do is create an opening that goes all the way from the front through the back, then create some sort of ledge that the Mentos can rest on until this tab is pulled out. You're gonna secure this inside of a box, slightly and lightly wrap it up, and be aware of what up is because this will be fully open and ready to go and you're gonna have to put this together just moments before you give it to somebody. Have this tab going through the whole of the box that you've created with a sign that says pull me to activate or to get your prize. Now of course you can have a pretty string coming through the outside of a package through a tiny little hole with a nice little loop and a note and this can be tied to the end of a skinny piece of cardboard or a piece of wood or a, a, a popsicle stick. Anything that goes through that tube so the Mentos can rest on top 
and then it gets activated. For simplicity, I'm gonna use this pre-made one right here and you can see through the clear plastic what's going on. There's a pin, once removed, all these drop into the soda. What I'm gonna do is create a custom box that's the size of my soda with the spout on top. So I'm just gonna mark inside roughly where that is. About there, that's good enough. And then widthwise, here to there. So what I have here is a piece of cardboard with four panels. So when this is folded up, it makes a square tube that the Coke bottle can fit inside of. And also it's the right height that accommodates that launcher on top. So a tip here, there's just one flap at the bottom that you can fold up and secure with tape, but you don't need anything on top at all because when they pull that cord, you want it to come ripping right through the paper and there's gonna be this massive, massive fountain. All right, I got the box made with the soda inside. Now I'm gonna see a rough estimate of where this string is gonna be pulled. So I'm gonna put this in here roughly where it goes. So about right here is where I wanna punch a hole. And when I wrap it up, I'm gonna have the string pulling right through here, and this is almost set to go. So now I'm gonna wrap this first, and the last thing I'm gonna do is drop the Coke container and grenade right down the top and lightly cover the top with the wrapping. All right, I'm so excited I have the gift made, and right here is that spot where the string is gonna come through. Everything else is done. On top, I've left just a few inches of extra paper so I can fold it over lightly like this. And all I'm gonna do is slightly tape that, or you can just stick a bow on there lightly. Don't secure the top because it's gonna be the pressure of the Coke and the Mentos. It's gonna shoot this sucker open and you will not believe the mess that's gonna happen. Make sure you only do this outside at like a barbecue area or do it to someone on the street or in the front yard. Say, hey, I have something special for you outside. I I recommend do not do this in your house. I can't express it enough because you're gonna see what a mess this is gonna make. All right guys, once you have your package done, that's when you can crack this bottle open because once you do this, you can't have this sitting out for days, maybe an hour max. So here's what you're gonna do. This gets put on here and this sucker is active. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna drop this down inside the package here, pull out the extra slack, do not pull out so much that it pulls out the little grenade pin. And then also make sure on the inside you have it positioned so that the pin is on the side where the string is so it doesn't get caught up. So I'm just gonna take no effort at all to pull this out. And then what's left is you simply cover the top up. I'm just gonna use a little tack of tape like this. That is it. And this thing is primed and ready. Have a note on the outside make a small loop, a nice pretty loop like this, and have a note that says, pull here for your beautiful surprise, or something like that. Do me a favor and please share this video with friends. You guys, this prank is so simple. All you need is some glue stick or maybe some adhesive spray. What you're gonna do is when you wrap the gift, you're gonna put glue stick on the entire thing. So when you wrap it up, they can't get the wrapping off and it's just gonna be little shreds of paper forever. And they're gonna to have to actually cut open seams to get to their gift. Quite a funny, simple idea. On the ends, you're gonna do the same thing. And even do the same for the tabs at the end here. No tape required, look at that. And once this dries in a couple minutes, they're gonna have to shred and peel all this wrapping off to get to their gift. This next prank is epic. What you're gonna do is get yourself some party string or silly string and a small box. And the idea is this, you're gonna have this inside the box secured and you're gonna have a pull string so when they pull it, this is gonna squirt silly string right out of a special trap door or hole in your box. Let me show you what it looks like. What you're gonna do is get two zip ties, stick one through the other so you have this perfect right angle right here. Then you're gonna chop that extra piece off. You're gonna take this edge and tape it to the side of the can and then loop it back up and feed it back through the other end of the zip tie like this, essentially making this loop. So the can's gonna go inside the loop that you've made, put the nozzle facing away from you, and 
that's going to be your position right there and you're going to tape this along the side of the can so it doesn't move. Then the other side you're going to cinch it pretty tight and you're going to see that it's going to start to pull down on this nozzle. Now remember once you have this on the nozzle will be depressed just a little bit, not enough to make the silly string come out, but once it's pretty tight you know you're getting pretty close. And if the nozzle is not perfect just turn it so that it's pointing exactly away from you if you're holding it like this. Once you've done this Tape the underside and the side and leave this tab intact. So now the zip tie is going down the side, underneath, up the other side, and then it's going right back through this hole that we've made and it's ready to go. If someone was to pull this tight, it would push this cap down and silly string will come flying out. So here is your silly string grenade ready to insert into your package. Now all that's left is fabricating your box. So what you do is you line up this hole with the box. Make sure it's facing the box and then mark a hole and make a little quarter inch by quarter inch or half inch by half inch opening in the package. Everything else will be wrapped except for that hole. Let's just say I'm sticking this in the back of the box facing toward the cardboard. Well I know that right here where I've marked it is the height where this is going to spray. So now that you have your general location punch a nice hole in your box. There we go and then you'll modify this a little bit more in a second. Once you have your hole punched through, secure the can in place with a whole bunch of tape. You can see through this huge hole that there's my nozzle right there and don't worry so much about the huge hole because you're going to be able to fix that with the gift wrapping in the end. So now that it's pretty much in place you're going to punch a couple holes here, 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 in here roughly and what you're going to do is tie a string around the can so it stays in that corner because when they pull this tab you don't want them tearing that can off with just tape. Again this doesn't have to be pretty just make it easy on yourself make nice big holes because this is going to be wrapped with gift wrap in just a couple minutes. So tie this string securely and that can's going nowhere. Now of course if you already have long zip ties you can just use that too. Cinch that thing tight cut off the extra and that can is going nowhere. All right you got your can secured in location, you got your grenade pull set to go, you've got the hole on the side so the last thing to determine is the direction you're going to pull this. So what you're going to do is look at where the zip tie that's coming out here goes through and it should be in the case where it's going to need to be pulled straight up or straight down depending on the direction of the teeth. So to make this ratchet a little tighter to cinch up to depress that top of the can, in my case I'm going to need to pull upwards at about a 45 degree angle to get it to click a few more times to make the string go. Depending on if you have your zip ties upside down or not you might have to go the other direction. So pull on it a little bit to determine that and then that's the direction you're going to punch a hole. So in my case it's going to go right out of the top of the box and then that's going to come through the packaging with a note that says pull here for your surprise and when they pull it's going to shoot right at them because the note's going to be right here facing them. All right, as I was closing up the flaps, I determined that coming right out of the natural corner where the flaps go over ended up working pretty perfect for the angle at which I need. Now the last thing is this long tab of zip tie. Just fold it over and tuck it in back on itself. Make sure the teeth are facing each other so it gives a little bit extra grip. Take a piece of tape and what you're going to do is tape it to itself very, very firmly. And what you've created here is a natural pull tab. So at this point all that's left to do is to wrap some gift wrapping around the outside, leaving this exposed, leaving a hole for your spray to shoot out and then a little note right here facing them saying pull for your surprise. And even as it is right now if I lightly pull, oh see that? It's already working but I don't want to click it because then it's going to spray non-stop and you can't stop it until it's completely gone. So a little tip for you. You can see my pull tab coming right out of the package without any kind of mess. What I've done is I've started the wrapping at that spot and then I go back around and meet up at the same spot so it can sneak out of the seam right there. I'll just tape it shut and this thing's good to go. Well this is an interesting gift. What's this? Pull tab for your surprise. Pull tab. Like this thing. Oh. Oh. Now similarly you can get a can of air duster right here that you use to clean off your computer keyboards. Unbeknownst to some people if you turn it upside down and do it 
it blows this white stuff. I've done some paint pranks with this as well. This is such an epic thing, but be very, very careful if you booby trap this with a zip tie upside down. Just secure this to the back of your package, put a zip tie around this handle because it's so easy to depress. Have this hose, this little plastic straw comes with, sneak it out the corner of one of the corners of the package cut it off to be the exact length, just have it out a little tiny bit and have a pull tab that when they pull, this happens. But if this goes on their skin, it is going to burn a little bit because it's ice, ice cold. It's very, very cold, it's compressed air. If you do it upside down, or right side up rather, it's not gonna work. So this has to be upside down, which is the beauty of this trick. Unlike the silly string, it needs to be right side up. If you did it upside down, it wouldn't do anything. This next one's gonna scare the heck out of people because you're gonna make a loud pop. What you're gonna need is some of these party poppers, and what's so cool is they come with a string for you to pull. So what you're gonna do is rig it so that they open the container and they pull the string by pulling the lid off their present. Now containers that have lids that pull off are perfect for this gag because there's areas to affix the strings. These containers that hold bottles are perfect as well because look at all the area in which you can tie in your string so when they pull it open, pop! it's gonna do its trick. I will also mention instead of party poppers which actually shoot projectiles and could hurt someone's face, there's these poppers that have strings on both ends and the poppers in the middle. And so what's cool about that is you can tie one end to the lid, one end to the inside of the package somewhere, so when they pull the lid off, it pops and it's just like a firework. It's pretty darn awesome and that's without the stuff flying at them. If you use the type that has a string on both sides of the little firework, it's very simple because all you gotta do is drill a hole, drill a hole, tie a loop, tie a loop, close up the lid and then the person does the rest. They open it up and they pull, pop! and then it explodes. Using two, three, or four of these could be a pretty cool idea as well. So I've tied the popper through one end and now I'm just gonna affix it to the lid. How simple and awesome is this? Watch, we'll close it up, make sure the firework obviously goes inside, and we're good to go, and someone's gonna open this up. Oh! Dang! Now if you choose to use one of these, it's still pretty easy, but you now have to affix this to the inside of the package. You can use a zip tie, some tape, some glue. It's really not that difficult. So here's just an example. In the case of a box like this, I would put a popper in each corner. I would affix it about right here, maybe with a zip tie and a punch in a hole on the outside of the box. Or if you want, use some tape or some glue. And then you have this string right here that would be tied to all four corners. So each popper would have its own corner, and so no matter how a person opens this up, they're gonna pull and it's gonna pop. And what's cool is then the popper is gonna pop away from them and it's a lot safer. This next booby trap prank is so simple and it's gonna create a huge mess. What you're gonna do is get a container like this, a gift bag, a box, or even one of these pre-done gift containers. So what you're gonna do is cut out the bottom and then reaffix it with the most slightest amount of tape just so you can barely move it and it'll stay intact. And so then what you're gonna do is put it on the ground and fill it with a bunch of junk. Tons of tacks, marbles, sand, whatever it is. Just fill it up in place and it should stay as is. However, once they lift it up, it's gonna cause the bottom to pop off and it's gonna create a disaster. What's cool about these pre-done containers is the top comes off, but unbeknownst to most people, you don't even think about it, the bottom flips open too. So this is another way to booby trap in the same way. What you can do is pull this out, tie a string through one side of this, put it back inside, pull the string through and affix it to the lid so that when they pull this lid open, it's gonna pivot and kick open that bottom, therefore dumping the contents on their lap. A similar idea is with these pre-made containers. On one side, put a hole and tie a string and right next to it, put a nail, a tack, a safety pin or something po poking straight through. Then put it back in here and then take that string and attach it to the lid. So then what happens is the person pulls this lid off, therefore pulling the string, pivoting open the bottom, causing that nail to puncture the hidden water balloon you have inside and water goes all over their lap. I think the possibilities are endless by booby trapping the bottom of packages.
All right, guys, I got a fantastic bonus prank for you. So hit that like button and get prepared to get your friends soaking wet. What you're gonna do is get a balloon and a container that can snap shut. Something like these metal ones that overlap is perfect because what you're gonna do is fill your water balloon with water. You don't tie the water balloon off. You stick it in the metal container and you close the lid over the balloon right here so that'll keep the water from leaking and it's all secure until they open it up poosh, and then the water spills all over them. So let me fill it with water and show you what it looks like. Now here you go. Now remember, the bigger the balloon, the bigger the container, the bigger the mess. So make sure you stick it inside and put the mouth of the balloon facing the person and very carefully close it up and when the person opens it up, they're going to get squirted. I'm so afraid. So... Jesus. Oh my God, talk about an explosion. You guys have no idea the mess I just made. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure you check out the other holiday pranks we've done as well, from food pranks to other gift pranks and gag pranks. It was a pleasure putting these booby trap pranks together for you. And since I've made a disaster here in my office, I can't send these to you. So I'll send one of my trick books and one of my deck of cards to one of you. Just comment down below and tell me your funniest joke or something fun and positive, and I'll send it off to one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe right now because we got a ton of fun tutorials and pranks for you. All right, guys, happy holidays days and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Subscribe to Rich Ferguson or else.